Oh, is Once it? upon a time, a beautiful princess locked herself away in a tower and patiently waited for a charming prince to come rescue her. Oh, she has a tail, too. Oh, I do miss her. The months turned to years, and no prince ever came to whisk her off to a happy ending. Oh, that's sad. That's what she uh, looked like. I mean, the enchanted canvas painted a younger portrait of whatever stood in front of it. Used to be such a nerd. Yeah, we're peaking right now here in chapter three. The witch grew bitter and mad. She began kidnapping princesses in order <laughs> to increase her chances of being rescued. Oh. Uh, all right, hold on. Years of appearance changing potions eventually took their toll and backfired, turning the princess into a soggy hag with a floppy tail. But the potion could be reversed, right? She could lose the tail and and her skin would change back to normal. How old would I'm she be? I'm afraid not, Gwendolyn. Agatha took it too far. There was no coming back. Bummer. Huh? What? Okay. Guess that's where we're hanging out today. She actually seems like someone who would occupy the Legend of Zelda universe. I don't know why. The enchanted canvas painted a younger portrait. Whoever stood in front of it. What if I put up the uh, picture of Chester? Is this actually going to do something? You get to see young Chester? Eh, okay. <laughs> it's like dows him out on it, you know, when he hit in the clubs or something back in the day. Bramble? I mean, she's not that old to begin with, but how old is she going to be here? What? I'm gonna have to ask her about those tattoos. Man, Bramble was like, she was like a punk kind of rover type lady. Gotta see young Amaya. It's just Zoe de Chanel. Ah! <laughs> she was a nerd with the headgear and braces and everything. Interesting. Uh. Any tips as to what we need to set that to? I need to match this clock over here. Well, this one's just at midnight. That seemed to be missing a piece. Hmm. <laughs> Tower of Stone now crumble down. Is there any clue as to what we need to set this, uh, the book down there on the ground now? Yeah, here we are in chapter three. Uh. Oh, that's skip over one. Oh, it does, it does show. Kind of the shadow of where this once was. I guess that's it, right? What's hiding back here? Huh? Chester? Agatha never left the tower, so she would send the princesses on her errands. They would fetch this ingredient or that trinket. She used a special enchantment to 
poof them out of the tower and after some time poof them back in. Mananan style. Why didn't they ever tell anyone they were trapped up there? If they did, the spell would instantly pull them back in. <laughs> Magic is so arbitrary. Right. Los Charcistra. Yeah, I definitely uh, misinterpreted the ending of King's Quest 2 once we got into that tower. <laughs> they left a whole lot of this this bit right here out, you know? Good to finally get the full story. It looks like a foosball table. Just trying I would to hold off on flashing that ring again. Good Not call. Not gonna make that mistake twice. Yeah. You've already come off as needlessly desperate. All right. What's the deal, niece? Hey there. What's shaking? What's shaking? I cracked my loot, and I don't have the right tool to fix it. Want me to try to fix it? Do you have the tool I need? Uh, nope. Probably not. Then I'll take care of it. Hmm. I'm getting Emily Blunt vibes from her a little bit. Despite the lighter air. And V? Uh, how's it going? As your foosball puzzle table. puzzle box is broken. Puzzle box. I'm not sure how to fix it yet. Want me to try to fix it? I'll get it. I was stuck. I needed advice. Too bad I couldn't just dot over to the town square. Or could I? Apparently we can, so let's do it. Hey, Agatha. All right, now we have some time to actually explore here, it looks like. Let's check out. Oh, this is creepy. I mean, not creepy, but like... Almost feels like the clock you go into in uh, Mario 64. Bo -bo 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 -bo. Let's -a go. Yeah, it seems too easy. Is Cedric around here somewhere? Did I miss anything in the background here? I guess we'll just mess with the clock. Right. This sorcery was very finicky. It would teleport you away from the tower, but only for a limited time. And you needed something from the place you wanted to go to. Well, what have we got? Amaya's picture? Is this gonna... I want Amaya! Okay. I did something. Yeah. Alright. So we have some time while we're here, I suppose. Oh, the old tournament board. In disrepair, man. How long have I, I been gone? I need this, but that's never stopped me before. <laughs> Bees. Oh, the old tournament board. It's a little premature to break up with Amaya. We need to see the rest of this uh, this scene through first. I think. The tree had grown. The branches had filled out. It was looking good. Uh, let's see. Amaya? So is she gonna be older now? A little bit. She looks roughly the same. Graham! Amaya! Oh, it's been far too long. Wow. Are you here for a permit? A permit? For what? These concealed weapons? That's what I said earlier. Seriously, my washboard is broken. Can I do my laundry on your abs? I'll think on that. <laughs> Come on. At least let me sharpen these boots on those calves. Hey, I'd recognize those shiny boots. We're just a couple anywhere. bros. Are those what these? Of course not. He's just a friend. I admit to nothing. 
I see. I guess I was... Whisper can. Don't say it. You bang and whisper, Amaya. Well, good for you. You know what? Azards. I met someone I else tell too. You think before you speak, but we all know that's not the Amaya way. <laughs> well, the Amaya way is exactly why I'm here today. I need advice on love. It's a long story, and I'll explain later. But I met someone. I may have met someone. Or someone. Or someone. How do I know if she? We may have one. two queens of Daventry. Hold your snoots, muscles. You came in here to ask me about the mushy stuff. Yeah, it's I true. Did. On purpose? Uh, trusting my gut landed me in a pretty embarrassing situation. This is all right. Emotions. Emotions. I can do this. It's like Papa always told me. Marry quick and without care. Yeah, but if they leave you, it won't matter, cause you know, you didn't care about them. She did say that. Um, not helpful. <laughs> no. Fine, fine. Digging deeper. Oh, ah, uh, what's this feeling? Weird. Graham, I'm not sure where I dug this up from, and I hope to bury it immediately after we're finished. But can I ask you a question? Fire away. I know most people will give you a gaga head in the clouds response about the ingredients for true love. But have you given any th oh, th thought to what you're willing to put up with? Like what, what you could learn to love? Oh, you mean like if she's... Uh... I guess messy and clumsy are the two. Like if she's uh, clumsy. Well, so what? It could become endearing. And also, if she's... I feel like that's more of the niece type thing. Oh, she's messy. Well, I could be the clean one. These biceps have buffed a lot of floors. I mean, you're also the king. You could oh, pay people to do that for you. It's kicking in. Pull oh, me no. back to the tower. The what? The tower. <laughs> the what? No time to explain. It's... I'm sorry. Which way is the tower again? I can't tell you. <sighs> that way. The tower is that way. Thanks for that. Oh, a, a tool. Do you have a tool I could borrow for, you know, fixing stuff? A loot. Sure. What size are the bolts? Um, uh, the six kind. Here, Small. take this old wrench. Normal. She's got at least one good fix left in her. Thank you. No uh, thoughts King on that. Graham, what have you gotten yourself into? <laughs> Twinkle toes. I need you to run. I was gonna say. Your mind? No, not through my mind. Graham needs you. Oh uh, hell yeah. Well, you know what? It hurts, it stings. But we're both moving on. And I think it's hilarious that she's ending up with Whisper. So, all right. So we have the, uh... Well, hold up. Hmm. <laughs> Huh. Yes. Show me. No oh. way. So I he's... told you no detail would be overlooked. He was a nice Manny's goblin. Was a face of a goblin. Manny's a goblin. Nice twist. I suspected that, but we just confirmed it. All right, Wallace Shawn's character, who is turning out to be the villain in this whole thing, is a goblin. All right. Let's see if we can fix this loot. This might help. Where did you find this? Nice. Have you heard the name Amaya Blackstone? The Crumbler? The very same. Sounds. Is that how that works? <laughs> You want to perhaps learn a ditty? I would love to. Let's learn yeah. a ditty. Now repeat after me. Now you try. Wonderful! Simon Says. Great! Musical Simon Says. Do, 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 do. Wonderful! <laughs> No luthier, but uh, I guess that's how we fix You're instruments. You're a quick learner. 
Next time I uh, break a string, I'll just smack the hell out of my guitar with that old wrench. Old pipe Could you wrench. Play me a melody to help me sleep. How about something with a bow and some strings? Who said violins? Doesn't solve anything. <laughs> I was slightly disappointed there was no mention of me that night. Grandpa, boys aren't the only things the girls talk about. Yeah, huh? I learned that lesson long ago. Oh. Oh well. Hot of brown. Now sit down. Good hut. Tower. Tower of stone. Someone's at the door. Leave me Just alone. Let me go home. Be there in a jiffy. I get that. It's been forever. You're looking. That's that guy. Right? I get that. <laughs> so nice to see you. <laughs> Morden, your English is coming along superbly. Morden. Well, thanks for noticing. Glad to try me for a spot of tea. <laughs> now, Hagatha, I know better than to set foot inside this tower, but I do appreciate the invitation. Smart man. You no, know, you might like it better in the air. The view is quite nice, and if it ever rains, we we'll move. I grew up in a cave, so I'm fine with a small, cold room with a view of rubble. Speaking of small and cold, please tell him to be careful with this. The message will be received. I'm serious, Maldon. I've spent my life coated in a thin layer of cosmolotion. It's a potion. It's not a panacea. Duly noted. Oh, I almost forgot. Silky he wanted smooth to return voice. this book he borrowed. Said he doesn't need it anymore. Tame your dragon. Ah, yes. How to tame your dragon. Did you ever find old Dwoggle? It'll return when it's tired of feeding off werebears and lost travelers. A balanced breakfast indeed. Ha! Good day, Morden. It's always a pleasure. The pleasure has been mine. Fare thee well, Hagatha. One night, Hagatha invited us all to her pretty princess ball. I was <laughs> nervous and excited. Okay. Tonight, we shall have our pretty princess ball. It will be everything we've always dreamed of. Oh, mini game. I love that she still thinks I'm. A oh, okay. Sorry, ladies. <laughs> that same button. Seems like that's... Oh, we're doing the wave. Ye old wave. Seems like a triangle. There you go. Uh-oh. That's X, right? Yeah. That's triangle. This feels like a Mario Party game. I think that's circle, right? Guess we're going to the E up. Triangle. X. Oh. Okay, that was weird. I'm synchronized. That feels like a square. Oh, am I in charge now? Oh, that was just dealer's choice right there. I get that's not all bad. Oh, if I'd be laughing during this, she's. Not graceful, 
Not funny. Princess move. What? It's turn, turn, twist. Not twist, turn, turn. Not, not dance. Oh. Me and niece. All right. We doing this? <laughs> We go. <laughs> that was really lovely. Thanks, Hagatha. And Princess Graham, of course. You're welcome. Thanks to you. Oh, what a glorious evening. Oh, thank you, ladies, for a wonderful ball. I wish it would never end. Perhaps it shouldn't. Where? It was at that moment, Hagatha realized she had everything she wanted inside the tower. Her happy ending was right in front of her. She would freeze time to keep that moment forever. I wonder Sweet and if terrifying? Make a large enough batch of fruits to tonic. Uh, no, I don't think we can. Maybe just some chocolate chip cookies? Graham was so sweet. Shh. Oh, hush up. Yeah, we that are. night, my nervous anxiety turned to happy butterflies. I went to bed with a smile on my face. It's a lot better when, than when we were worrying about how we were going to feed our subjects. With Hagatha, and she sent me on a special mission. Princess Graham? The time is come. Call us Andy Dufresne right here. Special mission for you. You're gonna get yours, Agatha. Last long, but I need you to bring me back the keys of harmony. Your spell will teleport you back here once you've picked it up. I need to make sure I can trust you. <gasps> I guess I get that book. You know, Grandpa, I think you told me this part. Are you sure you're not getting the stories mixed up again? Sadly, this is not a senior moment, I'm afraid. We're just reusing scenery. It makes the game cheaper. Gwendolyn. Huh. Someone fancied himself quite the storyteller. Those potions smell pungent and acidic, but... Hmm. Oddly familiar. Classic hide in the bed. I don't see any dragons this time, though. I think we're safe. For the moment. Anything <laughs> else in Teaching here? Teaching English as a second language. You're slouching again. <gasps> well, Sean. Try to stand up straighter. And then I hid again. In the bed. In the bed. Bring God, is Wallace here. Sean gonna get him? We get all night to prepare. Morden. Must we go through with this? After gazing upon Hagatha's face, I question the validity of that elixir. Michael Leon Woolley. Enchantments are stunted by the tower she locked them away in. Out here, with a little air, this sorcery can reach its full potential. We'll have to let this sit overnight. For now, uh -oh. we sleep. Uh-oh. I want to voice my concerns again, brother. Brother. You, of all people, should know what it's like to wear a mask all your life. A scarf that obscures your vision. A helmet that hides your face. This body has taken my mind as far as it can go. Now, good night. Please snuff the torch. Oh, this is Our be parents weird. were wrong to hide you from the world, but at least they didn't forget about you. No, instead, they fed you, they read to you, they raised you as their own. I was a whipping boy for 16 years. Huh. For what? Wow. A stupid goblin prank. Watch your tongue, brother. You're beginning to sound like a human. Huh. A silly goblin took you in from the cold. 
a dull goblin taught you to read, and a stupid goblin gave you a second chance at life. Please forgive me. I misspoke. Am I wrong to believe that the mind is what should matter? Is my trust in brains over brawn misplaced? I've dedicated my life to prove that, given the right resources, our species is capable of higher thought, and that even a silly little goblin can lead this kingdom. That's the change I want to inspire. That's the progress Daventry needs. Oh, you're right as always. And the Cosmolotion is the only way around your banishment from King Graham. King Graham? King Graham was a fluke. Huh. We'd already be at the castle toasting to our divine intellect if it wasn't for that bumbling, red-nosed, feathered half -wit. Probably have guests Did at I your dinner table, too. asked what my availability for sleepovers was? <laughs> we did. Uh... Hey, I am not a fluke. Did you really just say that? <laughs> well, don't just you say Zards all the time and... I feel like if you ever want to get out of a situation, you can instantly get transported back by telling someone where you are. It works both ways. Don't move. Glenville and I are working on your surprise. I won't peek. I can't wait to see what it is. Oh, Gwendolyn, your lunch is ready, and your cousin is waiting. Thanks, Grandma. She sounds more like niece than V, but... Love? I don't know. Have you been taking all your medicines? Well, I'm not sure what good they're doing. I'm still stuck in this bed. Yes, you are. You're still here. Ah, uh, you know what I meant. It's just that I'm going stir-crazy in here, and I don't even want to think about all the addendums that still need approvals. Everything is taken care of, but you need to rest before you feel better. I'll rest after your birthday. I still have to prep your special batch of chocolate chip pancakes. Special. A little oh, weed in there. You have baked those pancakes for my birthday for as long as I can remember. Aww. And I've truly savored each and every bite, dear. But maybe this is the year to teach the children your recipe. Sad. And you just enjoy eating breakfast with me. Nothing is going to stop me from baking those pancakes. Not even this broken arm. Well, you won't get any further argument from me. Now, can you please take your medicines? They'll make you feel better on your next inspiring adventure. All right. Fine. I'll take them. And I love you. You have always... A caring soul. You always find the perfect way to say things to make me feel better. Oh... That was sweet. I love you too, dear. By the way, speaking of meds, have we got any magic fruit Agatha left in the fridge? Set us out to gather the ingredients he needed that to make would, a large batch of spot right now. Of course, we didn't know that's what it was for, so we did what we were told, just like good princesses. Princess Graham, I think you've earned the privilege of a trip outside the tower. Yes, you. And um, Princess V will go. Ah. Oh well. You must return to me with a magical hourglass before sundown. Before the magic wears off. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and comment on this video, and click subscribe if you haven't already, as this seriously helps me to keep making great content for you.